guys Ben here and today I'm actually starting off the setup series and it's going to be more of like a vlog style setup series but like Mars Bar and I'll link him down below because this idea is basically his and yeah I basically I started the episode off here because I actually went to Ikea like I, I wasn't really expecting to go but I bought a lot of uh, two things that for my setup that I wanted uh... I basically got this here the Alex drawers right there and I also got a chair that I started building. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice chair. Wait, uh, just pick up a piece of it. So yeah, it's like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm building chair at the moment, and also, boom, when I went to uh, IKEA and these beasts, the Old Boost 2.0s, very very comfortable. By the way, guys, I definitely recommend them. The height is true about them shoes but anyway i'm going to quickly try and make this chair and get that set up but looking at my setup now so this is actually my setup already so as you can see i'm working on the chairs and stuff for the book out um just a quick look so we have just a little like ornament hill i got from california and i have the creative t15 i think they're called speakers along with the wireless charger from Samsung. A little um, drink uh, mat thing that I put like PMs, like Pepsi Max uh, on and Coke and stuff. Uh, I've got that from Barcelona. And then I've got my K70 RGB. Uh, not the newest, actually it is the newest K70 RGB, but not the rapid fire one. Uh, I got it before that, but I did get it for quite a good deal and I got it brand new still, so it's good. Um, the um, Performance MX mouse by Logitech had that for a really long while, as some of you guys will know. And I got it on a just a random mouse mat, which I will hopefully be replacing. Just under there, I have a cable, uh, micro USB cable, which I sometimes use for charging this mouse and other equipment, and a Bluetooth speaker that I'm going to review very very soon. It's actually really good quality and a really good bang for the buck speaker right there, of course up top the webcam the C270 by Logitech and then of course the monitors and the second speaker with all the controls on it now this is what I'm going to look, look at down here uh, what some of you guys might not have seen before we got the one terabyte Xbox One uh, with the controller and stuff and a load of cables down there and I really want to be sorting that out using the Alex uh, unit right now um, here's my PC of course I'm going to keep that there for now, but I've got plans in the future for where I'm going to put it. And I will tell you the plans at the end of this video. So yeah, I'm going to start making the chair and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back. Quick update, I've just completed the chair and it is comfy. Yeah, so it's a really good chair. And next thing on the left is of course the Alex. And if you don't know what the Alex is, it's actually this drawer. You've probably seen it loads on YouTube. But I'm going to put it uh, right in, it's going to replace this one here so I can put cables in. And this one here is going to go on that side there. So yeah, it should be good. And then also I can put, I'm gonna put my Xbox in there. I don't go on my Xbox too much, so uh, yeah. And also I really need to move it because I didn't like it on the floor right now. And also the cables are gonna get a lot cleaner. Probably do all that today. So yeah, see you in a bit. All right guys, quick update. I am, um, yeah, so basically so far I've got done that. So yeah, just before I did a quick update. I'm not gonna time lapse this one like I did with the chair because it's going to take a bit longer and I don't really want to bore you guys. So yeah, see you in a minute. Alright, quick update guys. I have actually completed the Alex draw unit. So there it is, under the desk. And also as you can see, I've taken everything out and slightly dusted it there. And next thing I've got to do is actually move this cable management thing across. 
so I can fit the old unit in there. All right, what's up guys? Um, basically, I've decided to remove the LED strips. What I'm gonna do instead is actually put them around my bed. Uh, easy there. Uh, basically, I'm gonna do that, and then what I'm gonna do is just buy a clean uh, one meter, well, 1.5 meter, uh, LED strip off eBay or Amazon or something. I just checked on eBay and there's a couple. Uh, just so then it'll just go on that back row uh, instead of going on the sides because I'm actually going to be putting this this table here like right up. Wait, you see it here? Right up against there. So like this corner here will be right below that corner. So yeah, that's, and but before I did LEDs under there, and these these LEDs were getting a bit annoying to be honest. That's really long, really long cable, so it should wrap around my bed. I thought that would just be a sick idea to be honest. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna get on with undoing the cable management tray underneath. So yeah. all right, guys, I've literally just removed the IKEA signum, I think it's called. And yeah, so under the desk I have absolutely nothing. Um, I'm gonna actually, you see here, I'm gonna make it so it ends there. So then, because before you can see the cables here, it can hide behind this bit. So the end of the thing's gonna go there, and then the cables can hide behind the box. So yeah, that is the plan. All right, what's up guys? I've actually basically finished the desk. Oh, there you go. Got both drawers in place, and underneath we have what I said I was doing, so yeah, that's very good. We have a slight gap down this side here, and then this side here is gonna house the PC, and also the plugs here, this UK plug, by the way. Um, yeah, they're gonna be hidden as well, and also cable management. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's gonna have the cable, so all the cables are gonna be in here. So yeah, we get on with that. And I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Basically, I have a problem. When I have my monitors on table right here, I was having like a rocking. So basically, what I've done is I've actually put the legs back on each side at the back. So yeah, that's what I've done to stop that problem. And at the moment, as you can see, I'm getting on with the cable management, and my Xbox is actually going to be standing up right here. And I have most cables, well, plenty of cables plugged in at the moment and the PC is there. So this is basically what it's going to be looking like overall. More centered than usual and obviously my new chair will be right there. But anyway guys, I'm going to get on with this because uh, I don't want it to be too long. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Basically I have everything on the desk and everything like ready to cable manage. Like as this is part one, this isn't like the final what I want, it's just the start like to get me going. Like I've got the new drawers and the new chair, that's basically what this episode's about and how I'm gonna be cable managing using the new drawer. So yeah, that's the thing. And I did actually decide to use um, this uh, cable management box and I wasn't going to, but I thought it'd be a good idea because it would look a bit more cleaner in there. And yeah, it look quite good. And I still got the drawers, obviously. But yeah, I'm going to do a quick basic like cable management and then I'm going to time lapse this quickly. And then I'm going to give you guys a couple questions at the end to answer in the comments for the next episode because I'm unsure about some things that I might do or might not do. And anyway guys, also, this is company here. Shout out to this company. It's basically cable management, um, little things I've been using. And I will actually leave their link for the Amazon down below in the description. And they are really, really useful, as you can see. So yeah, I have one right here. And it basically stops my cable for charging my laptop falling down. And it's just a lot cleaner look, even though my shoes are on at the moment. But yeah. And also I have them here and I've recently just uh, used the addition of having two cables so two cables do actually fit through these and they're really really useful because when I used to have all my cables just flop down there it was so hard to like pick up a cable with this you can literally slap a phone on 
and I've also got these uh, cables that I got sent for review, the sync wire ones, and they're really good lengths as well. This is two meter, this is one meter, and it does fit with my power supply thing down the back. So I'm gonna get on with cable management and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so this is what I've got under here at the moment, cable management, and on the top it is clean. Apart from, the, this is a problem right here, I'm going to be removing these speakers very soon, or grading them by the way, I'll talk about that at the end. But they're reviewing it, so I've got to review them first, but the, the cable that connects them together is really, really short. And that's definitely going to be mentioned in the review, which is coming up in around a week's time. So anyway, I'm going to do a quick time lapse of me sorting out these cables behind the back here, so enjoy. Alright, so it's all done now. I've actually got, I just sorted out my desktop because I've actually put, the that monitor there used to be on the left. So they're basically, they're, they are the same monitor anyway, it's just this is a newer version. All, all that's different is the buttons have a little bit of texture on them at the bottom. But yeah, that's fine. So the cable management, I think they did a really good job. Uh, there you can see, there's one cable right there, and that's the only cable that I haven't managed cable managed very well uh, for the wireless charger. And of course I've got speakers there, and also I've got this little bit here which um, I'm using because then I, when I plug my headphones in, my uh, um, Kingston HyperX 2 Cloud 2 headphones, and the other speaker, I will be replacing these speakers because uh, as you guys know, they are reviewing it, and I'm hoping to get some studio monitors. Down here, I've got the PC all working well. And then some cables there. Pretty good cable management, in my opinion. Um, not the best I could do, because I am going to be changing this uh, setup again. Soon kind of thing. And then into the new drawer that I just bought at top here. I haven't really set it out properly yet, but I've got the Xbox One controller. Xbox One there on the side. I'll see how that works in a minute. Just plug it, turn it on a minute. Yeah, I'm just going to test if it's all working well. And then, yeah, so here we've got the cable box. That's got the power inside it. And I'm kind of using it differently. I'm just using it for the power and it's out and in at the same end. And then it's going out that hole at the back of this. One of the main reasons why I bought this is really good for cable management. And on desk, we do have the K70 RGB and the Logitech. So yeah, overall, I think it looks great. I need to get my chair, my new chair in here to try it out, see if everything's good. Because I kind of had to rejig the monitors, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, it's kind of more off. Like I usually had this one centred up more to the right, but if I had that, if I had the same thing, because now I have to sit dead in the centre, the speakers wouldn't be able to fit. And what I'm doing is with the LEDs I've removed, I'm actually going to put them around the bottom and the whole way around my bed uh, to basically have LEDs under my bed and I'm going to try and buy a 1.5 meter LED single strip just to go around the back because I can't have it on the sides anymore or underneath but I might just have to get a 1 meter cable because I'm not sure if they do 1.5s apart from on eBay but they only really have they have low ratings but as you can see some clean cable management there tiny bit off there but from angles it does look sick and down there there's the PC itself the beast Alright guys, so I've actually got the new seat all set up as well now and it fits perfectly under the desk and it's a really good fit and I'm loving the new drawer setup. Now, what I'm going to do is guys, I'm actually going to tell you about the plan for this series. Now this video might have been going on for a while but it is the first video and I wasn't expecting to be making a video about this today because I, have, I didn't realise I was going to go to Ikea. So basically, I've now got this drawer here which was part of the plan and it's basically all set up basically and I've got the new chair because my old one had like a rip in it and that was the main reason why I went to Ikea. But basically the plan is I'm going to be getting a triple monitor set up and I'm probably going to go for the triple VN247H which is the monitors I've already got. So I really want to do uh, surround gaming. Uh, but the problem is I think they're starting to discontinue the these monitors so I might have to uh, pick up a different monitor and I was thinking about picking up the 4k uh, 
Azus PB278Q, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, basically a one millisecond response, 60 hertz, 4K monitor, great for gaming. But I really want to get the triple 1080s. Um, I think that would look great. And basically, the other thing is, I actually want to uh, see here, got the speakers. I really want to upgrade them to some uh, studio monitors. Basically, I'm not sure whether to get on the side here, like some stands to bring them up right at the back. So like there, some stands um, and then have them on stands instead or do something like this. Now these here you can get from Ikea and that's just a shelf from Ikea. And I really want to do this. Um, so yeah, but my original idea was to get stands just there for the studio monitors and the monitors I want to get are alright. So these are the studio monitors I actually want to get. They are a hundred pound basically, um, but they are beasts right there. They're like the new versions of the AV, the M Audio AV forties. I think they were called, which I was originally wanting to get, but I'm actually going to get the newer ones instead. And yeah, they're great, and they look even better in real life. Um, I've seen some YouTube videos, and this glossy bit here actually looks a lot better uh, within a setup. So yeah, that's basically the plans and also I'm going to be drilling a hole for this cable and a lot of other cables like probably this one and stuff. And the triple monitor displays, I will be trying to uh, wall mount them all on the wall. Uh, at least get an arm bracket, depends what's happening. So there is like a, uh, a bathroom behind my uh, wall, so wall mounting might be a problem. But for now, I've done this whole desk setup today and I'm really pleased with it and yeah so that's basically the plans if I have any more plans I will update you or if I've forgotten any I will update you in another video yeah so hopefully this video went well and it was all recorded on the S7 Edge uh, even the slow motion and everything I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this kind of vlog style video uh, I'm not sure how it went I'm gonna obviously see when I'm editing but I'm gonna hopefully it was below 10 minutes because it seems like it's going to go on for a while and yeah so yeah that's basically it guys and i'll see you guys in the next one and episode two will be coming i'm not really too sure to be honest it might come in a while it might come soon depends on when i buy the stuff or when i feel like buying the stuff so um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace and bye. Oh,